class to Zanzibar, Tanzania. Um, you know, I'm excited for this trip. I'm literally going out there to interview just one person. I will try to do more than that, but yeah, come with me. Uh, let's go. And see how it feels like to, feel, uh, to fly with this class. It's all sponsored by content creation. Why? Just because I clicked record. That's it. <laughs> The journey is about to begin. I'm excited, man. Bro, I need to go get a whole bunch of cash from the ATM because the front desk at the airline can't charge my credit card. Ghana can do better. But anyways, I'm reminding you that all this trip is fully paid for by my creativity as a content creator. So, um, I'm done with my check-in. They literally just told me to take everything off. Like, what, really? My shoes, my watch, everything. I don't know, I don't deserve this treatment. And I was told I should have used a priority service for $40 to get rid of all this scrutiny. Maybe I'll pay that next time. But it's good for the experience. They have a very nice boutique shop here. African prints, which is very nice. So. I'm going to the business lounge now to see if I can get some food. Um, yeah, yes sir. Very Ghanaian. I like this brand. Very Ghanaian. Vida Cafe is in the airport, guys. This they don't they don't play. They mean business. I've not eaten since morning. I'm not sure if I'm hungry, but let's see. handsome driver <laughs> you know he's taking me to the hotel and he's showing me around and there's literally zebras on the way going to the hotel it's pretty dope i can't wait to come back to kenya but unfortunately my flight is in four hours so i head back to the airport to zanzibar but i'm definitely going to come back here connecting flights from um, nairobi to zanzibar got cancelled and rescheduled so instead of me leaving in the morning like 8 a.m now i'm leaving at 8 p.m so kenya always offered a hotel so i'm literally in the hotel room right now it's not that bad though it's nice you know i mean i'm, I'm alone so it's not like i need like a big green space <clears throat> 
That's how the mushroom look like. Um, even though it's very nice, I just have to complain. Before we were able to even get the slip, like the chip to come here, uh, it was a hassle. Um, the front desk people were not really helpful. I mean, the last point to like we take the chip to the bus or to the bar, uh, yeah, to the cops to go to the hotel. Those people are not very helpful. Uh, I spent about three hours there, but nevertheless, um, I got a chip. I'm here in the hotel now. About to take a quick, heavy shower hot shower and then take a nap and wake up by 4 p.m or before that so i can get picked up and then off to the airport again to zanzibar um yeah there's a lot that i have to tell you about ah <sighs> it's been a crazy flight um the business class was nice i just well i'm gonna let's i'm gonna list everything that i don't like about that flight it was business class is cool and all that but i've seen better and Kenya always have to do better, you know. Their, their seat doesn't go all the way back, you know. It's just like midways. That's not business class. That's economy still. But <laughs> it's still nice, you know, to call it business class or whatever. But it's cool. Um, the food they didn't have so much like options, but a few options that they had was cool. Um, as you guys can see, I enjoyed myself. But yeah. Anyways, I'll keep you guys updated. So I finally um, made it to Zanzibar right now. I'm in Stone Town. It's a very interesting uh, place. Um, it looks very ancient. I mean, not ancient, ancient, but like old city. You know, um, the last time I came here, I came by the ferry, but this time I came by flight. So the experience is totally different. But if I'm to choose which one I would use again, the next time I'll probably uh, choose ferry. Why? Because. I think I enjoy the ferry ride better. Um, the thrills with the, you know, I get to see around, and maybe because okay, maybe maybe because um, I was flying at night, so I didn't get to see the island from like above. So it's like why fly in the dark whilst you can just ride a ferry during the day and see like potential sea dolphins or whatnot. So. Maybe that's the reason why I would uh, use furry, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Just finished having breakfast. It's a whole Thank buffet you. style. Thank you. And the hotel that I'm lodging is, I think it's very old and has been very customized. Uh, they've remade the whole place. And the reason why I know it's like old is you can see the floors. The design is very uh, ancient, almost like drawing slavery time back in the days. Um, as we keep going, you understand what I mean. Exactly. So if you know, you know this floor, the design is, is very, um, it belongs to a certain kind of group of people. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So maybe you can call it a court, I'm not sure, but it shows that it's very, very old and has been revamped and redesigned. But I'm here for two days and then I'm heading to Nungui. Nungui is probably two hours from here. So yeah, just finished my breakfast. I had a little bit of work done. I hope I'm not lost. I'm in the right place. So I'm going to the last, the fifth floor or fourth floor. There's a lot of exercise. Okay, that's my room. Did I show you guys where I live? This is how it looks like. 
just to drop my laptop. Um, yeah, that's the outdoor. This is how the whole place looks like. I don't know what this is for, to be honest, guys. Maybe for kids. Yeah, there's a fridge in here. Hidden. Only two water. We have this here. I don't know what it is, but I also have a balcony, guys. I do have a balcony. <laughs> I can be chilling here, taking a look at the village. Ooh, look at tourists. Lots of them. Lots and lots of tourists. You can see the pool from right here. You know what I'm saying? I almost got scared of it. I thought it was a human being down there. No, no, it's a drawing. Uh, there's a photo shoot going on. Look at you. Love birds. Okay, I see them. All right, let me go. I'm being creepy. All right, I'm going back inside. So, 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 so. I'm back. Let me show you how the bedroom looks like. And I like one thing about this place is the roofing is very high, it's not short. Um, yeah, guys, don't mind that. I just, just ignore. This is how my bed, the bed is messy because I used it. I slept on it last night. And that's my washroom. So there you go, guys. This is where I'll be staying for the next two days. Peace. The sun is behind me, so you might not even see me. But um, don't mind my glasses, guys. That's the only glasses I have. And the sun is too, you know, shiny, so I have to put them on. But what I'm trying to say is last night, I got here like 9.30. We touched down. And the plane we used is not small. Don't get me wrong. It's not a small plane. It's quite a big plane. It's an Embraer 190, if I'm not mistaken. But boy, it was cross land, like crosswind. So the landing was a sticky one. The landing was a sticky one. We were like, literally like all over the place. The pilot did very good. And you know, still touched down, but whew, I think it's one of the worst landing I've ever experienced. Not that the pilot is not good, no. He's very good, but the crosswind speed was, it's over like 30, 40 knots, I'm sure. So whew, it was interesting, but yeah, obviously we landed safe. That's why I'm talking to you guys right now. But I just remembered that I'm like, let me just tell you guys how it was. And that's one of the reasons why I think I didn't like the flight whole experience. But in general, if I took those bad experience out, I'll be, I think I'll be fine. But yeah, so. I'm walking around Stone Town and everybody's trying to sell me something. You know how it is. But yeah, I'm trying to go get a SIM card so I don't have to be tied down to my hotel to use the Wi Fi all the time. So wish me luck. I hope I get a SIM card. Yeah, I had a very nice food at this point. Um, yeah, I might probably come back around later on. What I can't really wait to experience is the night market. I hope they still do the night market because all the food in the night market is like really, really nice. And what I'm anticipating or looking forward to eating the most is the Zanzibar pizza. Uh, so yeah, I can't really wait to experience that and guys I'm just giving you warning man Zanzibar is not for single people I've been here twice the first time I'm alone the second time I'm alone 
uh, it's okay. I mean, I'm not sad or anything. It's just I'm saying that if you want to come here, please bring your girlfriend with you. So yeah, I'm gonna look for a SIM card to buy. So wish me luck. Crew on there on the boat. They have about ten people on there at least. Let me get close and show you guys. So this place at night, you see in Zanzibar there are some people who just run and just jump. If you've seen that, that's where it happens, I think. If I'm not mistaken. So right now it's low tide, so the water is just way down. But maybe 4 5 pm it's gonna come all the way up there. So it's easier for you know the kids to just jump and play. You know, just act all crazy. But yeah, there are rocks under there, so they can't really do that right now because it's low tide. So far as when it becomes high tide, you see them jumping into it, having all kinds of fun. But yeah, this is your Zanzibar. You know, this is what most people get excited to come see. There's so many places that look really nice and they have different kind of activity. I think the activities is what brings the fun because, well, the place is nice, we get it, but what, what are some of the activities you can do? You know, they have several activities uh, that makes it fun, so you can really enjoy your stay here. Um, I'm not sure, I'm here for like an interview, but I'll try my, I'll try my best to vlog as much as I can. But um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing activities like I did the first time I came here. You guys have not seen that video. Hopefully, um, I can post that video before I do this. Or if not, after I post this one. I had crazy activities. I did um, swimming with the turtles. I did everything, basically. Snorkeling. I did all this fantastic you know, activities. But I didn't edit the video. And I haven't posted it yet. And it's almost one year. So guys, I apologize, I'll try and catch up. The editing is not easy, you know, but that's no excuse. I'll try and edit it and post to you, and post so you guys can get to watch. So yeah, man, I'm just going back to my hotel room, find a way to get a SIM card, and we take it from there. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Zanzibar, I'm here with uh, my, I would say family. The first time I was in Zanzibar, he's the one who, you know, took me out to all the places and everything. So yes. I'm back again. Yes, we're back again with the HB, <laughs> with Mr. Highford. Yeah. We're like a family. It's not like a tour guide and a tourist. It just is a part of the family. Yes, sir. Brothers. Yes, sir. So I have a family here now. Um, he's taking me around. So I don't know, where is the, what's the name of this place? This is the Garajan Kisonge Street. Okay. We call it Kisonge. Cause Kisonge streets. Yes. Okay. All right. So guys, enjoy the streets of Zanzibar. And I'm here for the Daladala station. We're gonna take the Daladala okay. public transport. Okay. So we are doing Zanzibar the local way. Okay. We are doing it the local way, not the bougie, because you miss out on the experience, right? When you do the bougie, you have your car, AC, and everything. It takes away from the experience. So we are doing it a local way. And trust me, if I want to do the bougie way, I got it, right? But I feel like I want to experience Zanzibar on a more close and personal level. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, come with us. Okay. Okay. I like this, man. This is where you get to, you know, feel like, experience the real Zanzibar.
So Zanzibar is a Muslim country, right? Yes, of course. 95% are Muslim here. 95%? Yes, 5 person, 4 percent is Christians, 1 percent is Hindu. Okay. Interesting. So here you can see all the women. They are covered up. It's hard to like see a woman like exposing her body. And I think even the tourists who come into the country they also respect it at least unless they are at the pool side or um, they are about to swim or whatever then they can you know show somebody but pretty much okay all right pretty much most of them are covered up so tell them where we are going so right now we go to Kizimbani to experience about the spice we go to the spice farm We've moved from here at the Kisonge, how we call it, in the Chenzani Street. And this house, the long narrow ways, you see here, just see here, it was constructed by the first president of Zanzibar. It's known as the Abeli Karume. Until right now, somebody they're living here, they enjoy here in this street. Okay, awesome. So here is like a market, a small market, or like a bus station. Is here a market or a bus station? This is a bus station. A bus For station. those who want to take the bus, just you have to be here. Okay. okay. That's people living there, right? Yes, this house is living this side. Okay. And this house, which was constructed by the first president of Zanzibar. The first president of Zanzibar. Yes, he's known as Abedi Karume. Okay. From eight, from 1964 until right now, we enjoy with this house. Okay. 1964. Yes, 1964. So this house is over 50 years, 60 years. Yes, of course. Okay. And really, right, until right now, very strong. Okay. Yeah. I can no see. No dangers. That. Very nice. Yeah. So this is the type of structure they have here. Um, yeah, I love the community. People are covered up. The, most of the women are covered up, which is a good thing. In our part of the world, <laughs> you already so know. Far. HB. Welcome Zanzibar. Akuna Matata. Akuna <laughs> Matata. Alright. We're in now. So in Ghana, you call this Chotro. Um, I don't know what it's called here, but I'll find out. get a mattress before you can get married out here man but I mean that's not too much to ask for you should already have a mattress before you you, will, you know you would want to get married See, look. so the kids taking the bus do they have to pay the for, for the, the kids? kids like a student they pay half fee. half fee if there is just like 500 just they pay only 200 for okay. the kid and a student here in Zanzibar. But sometimes, okay. most of the conductors, they like to give them pay, sometimes never pay. Okay. Yes. But sometimes, just see they pay for a little bit, but just like a half a price. Okay. I mean, half fee. Okay. That makes our, sense. Around the stone town, mm -hmm. almost the dollar dollar fee here is mm -hmm. just a 500. Out of the stone town, it just is a 3,000 to 2,000. Okay. If you're far away from Stone Town yeah. to north to the northeast, yeah. it's just as a student can pay like only five hundred is enough. Okay, interesting. Okay, that's good. At least they have a student uh, discount price. So there's going to be a flyover here very soon. Aman. Amani. Amani. It's just like the brand Amani. Amani is like a piece of it. Oh, okay. That's it. That's it. So we came to the 
spice farm on Okada. <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Okay, you're right, all right, all right. Thank you, bro. Do you have a fair then? Yeah, let me. Okay. So from Stone Town, oh no, no, where did we pick the Boda Boda? We picked the Boda Boda at uh, Muera. Muera, okay. Yes. To here, I spent about here 5,000. He's in Barnes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So where are we going? So we want to experience in the, in the farms. Mm -hmm. But let me give the shortly and briefly. Mm -hmm. So this is places we call it Kizimbani, mm -hmm. and this is on a private spice farms. Okay. This guy is known as a Mr. Zito, just inherited from his fathers. You know, once after revolution in Zanzibar, it's just people like 500 thousands. Everyone get some parties of the land for the agriculture, for the each and everything. That's why they inherited generation to generation. That's why until right now, is a Mr. Zito is the owner of this spice farm. So, and this place we call it Kizimbani because at, at that time, Kizimbani is like a judgment parties at the, in the high court. When the judge makes something for you, asking a question, and finally give you for punishment or judgment, is the same like the meaningful of the Kizimbani. Mm. So here we are right now, we're going to experience about the spice. We're going to smelling, to tasting, to see different spices in the really spicy, like the really vanilla, mm -hmm. the real cardamom, cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg. And then we're going to clarify one by one how we use for, we use for the kind of spice, but also sometimes we use it for the medicine, but also sometimes we use it for the decoration. So we use this kind of spice for different purposes. That's why we like to hear in Zanzibar, everything is a fresh, like a spice is in a fresh fruit is a fresh food is a fresh milk is a fresh honey is a fresh that's why in Zanzibar a lot of people just almost we are poor but because everything in Zanzibar is a fresh that's why you can see the family more than 10 children because everything here is a fresh mm. welcome to the spice farm I like that thank you man I'm looking forward to the experience uh, they eat healthy you know because everything they grow themselves there's not a lot of processed food here, so um, yeah. So, so we can go. You see, up. there's there's a hat on that guy's head. What's that? That is in a shop. I mean, for spice, uh, spice okay. shopping. Okay. All right, let's go. I'm ready. So on this one, the restaurant here. So that is a beautiful bathroom. That's why I like to come in this house. Okay, that's another. another thing. Yes, another spice farm. They don't have it. Sometimes good toilets, okay. But okay. here in Zito Spice Farm, very nice for the whole services like toilet or for bathroom services. Okay. Even the nature of this spice farm is very beautiful. I like that. Okay, that's why you choose to bring tourists yes, here, of course. Okay, that's good. And that's they do have a restaurant as well, right? Yes, we have a restaurant, and all you see, we have a local chairs. Okay, we yeah. use the plant for making a chairs. Yeah, okay, yes. that's good. Hello. Hello. Oh. So thank you. We're starting here. Yeah. Every day for the big country, for the abroad country, European country. Yeah. You see the jackfruit, but this is a real jackfruit. It's not a packaging here in the jackfruit plant. Mm. So you are only welcome. And actually, in Zanzibar, the biggest fruit is a jackfruit. Mm -hmm. Some jackfruit is like a five foot kilogram, but okay. until forty kilograms. I see. Really? One jackfruit? One jackfruit. 40 kilograms? Just say 40 kilograms. Jesus Even Christ. 10 people, you can't finish it sometimes. I see. Mm. Interesting. So, and the jackfruit also always were after riping, no secret. Even you hide it in the rooms, you uh -huh. hide it under the grounds, but just still you're going to get a smell. The smell. Yes. Okay. Interesting. So, you guys have seen jackfruit, jackfruit in the supermarket. This is the tree. This is how it's. it's wow. It's come from a tree. Okay. Something I don't even know. So when it comes, this is a collection basket. Okay. Yeah, you can smell the leaves. You bag you can put here. Okay. So I take for you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, so this is in a collection bags when you're having some leaves, when you're mm -hmm. testing or some spices. Mm -hmm. Just to ask after testing, after seeing, just to mm -hmm. put in the collection bags. Okay. All right. You can That's smell fast, my friend. Tell me what mm. is this. 
don't know what to think of it though. I know the smell. Uh, you know the smell? <laughs> yeah. Maybe after Mint. tasting, you can uh, understand which kind of the spice. Damn. I know the smell though. Ginger. Ah. Yes, ginger. ginger. <laughs> so. How didn't I know that, man? <laughs> Oh, oh, this is a ginger. Interesting, guys. Oh, the last one Have was in Zanzibar. Okay, let me taste it. I'm tasting. It's spicy? Eat, yes, spice. No, I eat ginger. I have, if I have sore throat, I eat it all the time. So I'm used to it. Wow. So this is a ginger, <laughs> but it's very, very hot because Zanzibar with a good soil for ties, everything here are very, very fertilities mm -hmm. for the soil, for the everything. Yeah. That's why it's very, very strong. Mm. And a ginger, actually, we use for different powers. Firstly, mm -hmm. we use like a spice. Okay. In the tea, we use a ginger sometimes in the milk. Okay. But to make it, uh, to, when we're cooking mm -hmm. the meats, to mm -hmm. make it this beef very, very soft. Mm. Also, we put ginger. But also, in, even in pilau, sometimes mm -hmm. we put a ginger. Shit. Thank you. But mm -hmm. another purpose, sometimes we use a ginger for medicines. Medicine, yeah. Yes, when, you, when you're having coughing, mm -hmm. very, yeah. very chest pains. Mm -hmm. So just you take a ginger mm -hmm. and then you, you can mix it with the limes and mm -hmm. then you can drink it. Yeah. Sometimes you, you can mix it with the honeys. Honey, and then you, yes. You, That's my favorite thing to drink. Yes, you drink it. Ginger lemon honey tea. But also mm -hmm. we use a ginger for the something for mm -hmm. for keeping marriage wonderful for keeping really? marriage safety how because when you're using the ginger always uh like one cup of sometimes when you're eating the ginger normally mm -hmm. without cooking mm -hmm. it's just uh, when you go to the bedroom you can break the bread ah the belly. that's why you use the ginger to make a marriage safe oh. yeah. even my grandfather was... breaking belly according to the gingers you know <laughs> that was a good one <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, I, I didn't expect that. <laughs> One ginger a cup or whatever a day, you can you can save your marriage. My friend, you can smell. Okay. What is this? Uh, I don't know. This is a common and a very very specific spice, very common yeah. in the world. Oh, Everywhere right. they know it. Some country the neighbor grow it, but just see this is a very common. Wow, you can smell it again. Because you are not chef, that's why you don't know yeah. which kind of the spice. But always you eating something can inside. I eat it? You can eat. I can eat. You can eat. So this is the favorite oh, spice. I know this. I know you know because this is very common. In ice cream, you can see chocolate, you can see wow. everything, cake. Mm -hmm. So this is a vanilla. So this is very, very important in our daily life. Okay. This one, we call oh, it. Okay, 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 okay. Can I guess it? Yes. You can eat it because it's very antibiotics. Okay. It's I a can't spice. Eat, right? We eat. This is a turmeric. Turmeric, okay. We use for the turmeric like a spice in the stew to mm -hmm. make uh, some dishes for the color like kachori is an Indian mm -hmm. dish. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the uh, same like a zafran, the same uses. Mm -hmm. But also we use a uh, gin, I mean turmeric mm -hmm. for the antibiotics. A I lot see. of medicine, I mean disease you can treat by using the antibiotics. Okay. I but see. also we use a, an, I mean turmeric, mm -hmm. especially for Zanzibar women, okay. Zanzibar ladies. Okay. They like to use the turmeric to make their face very beautiful and soft. Really? Well, yes, they're scrubbing. And the day of uh, getting marriages, also mm -hmm. uh, celebrations, you can mm -hmm. say Zanzibar lady, they have a uh, scrubbing the whole faces. Okay. And sometimes so very, very shine. You okay. can be interested with someone, you know? Okay, for the so it makes them look just like makeup. Like a makeup. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. I see, I see, uh, I see. Interesting. So meaning makeup is not it's not today's problem. It's, it's been a problem for a long time. Yes. Okay. Uh, I see. So this is true when you look at 12. It's like a guava. Even the fruit when you see mm -hmm. you can see it's like a guava. Yeah, guava. But not guava. 
It smells like oh, like what? I don't know. You know, I don't know how to cook, so I don't know ingredients. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Oh, but this I've not seen it before. I don't even know what it is, but this is a very, very common also. What is it? Especially in Frenchies and abroad countries, mm -hmm. even Congo, they mm -hmm. use it. Even Zanzibar, we use it. Okay. Very common. In Swahili, we call it Kungu Manga, but in English, we call it Nutmeg. Nutmeg? Huh. I know Nutmeg. Yes, this is a nutmeg. Sur surprise to you. Yeah. So what? Nutmeg. Okay. So is the, this is the nutmeg? Yeah, yes. So what happens to the outside? What happens to this one? This one is like a fruit as you see over there. Can you eat it? You can eat this one. But I want to tell you something. Okay. You guys smell fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. So these feathers we use it in different dishes mm -hmm. even in, in the milk mm -hmm. in the biryans mm -hmm. and another dishes we put these feathers of the nutmeg to mm -hmm. make a smell because it's very very nice like it smells in the milk. nicer smell is nice and then our uh, many spice is uh, this seed nutmeg seed mm. on this one nuts oh you can smell fast yeah wow Can I eat it? Yes, you can okay. a little bit, no problem. You see? Ooh. So this uh, nutmeg, actually we dry after harvesting, mm -hmm. then we dry it in the sun. After oh. drying, wow. so we, keep, we can pack it for special mm -hmm. packages. Mm -hmm. But this one, especially in uh, like a French people, yeah. they like to use it in the porridge, especially mm -hmm. to their local drums or mm -hmm. to their uh, uh, traditional celebration. Mm -hmm. Even in Zanzibar, like local drums, mm -hmm. if the women they want to to dancing yeah. without shies, they use the nutmeg. They put on the porridge, and then when you're drinking the porridge with the nutmeg, so you can you can see the ladies or male just is uh, dancing, uh, shaking. It makes them high. Yes, it's like a, it's acting really? like an alcoholic, you know. Oh. Some part is an alcoholic. So what? you can dancing without shy, you can do anything, you know, uh -huh. because it's like alcoholic, but not alcohol. So when you're going to put in the porridge, you have to put it for Just this. Just a little. Yeah, little. Spe I mean, small sizes, uh -huh. because when you put more, sometimes it's uh, dangerous. Because so you're going to be drunk. Yes, it's like a drugs. So, but another things that are very important to know in the nutmegs mm -hmm. is just say uh, when you're using the nutmeg especially for the ladies mm -hmm. also make a life or make a marriage to be happy every day mm -hmm. every day why mm -hmm. it's because this especially for the marriage the one who use mm -hmm. between male and husband or wife and husband mm -hmm. his wife why wife will just put on the porridge or in the maybe milk anything just can put mm -hmm. small in size and then when the wife eat some things with yeah. this portion of the nutmeg yeah it's just so you can see the ladies they you know shy the fat things so not shameful okay. but also you can see the eyes is hanging like this really? so it's make a husband to be more attractive for the hanging of the eyes like this this is the uses of the nutmeg also really but wait doesn't make them horny sorry it doesn't make them horny do you know what that is they have no idea it's good we don't have any idea about this <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> the way he's explaining the whole thing, I think he's talking about the ladies being horny mm. or high, one of them. Okay. Video on. Okay. For food. Yeah. So, this one. Mm -hmm. What do we call it? I have no idea. You don't have any idea because no. you are a chef. I'm not a chef. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this is a cardamom. 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 Yes, cardamom. Okay. You can eat. Can and eat cardamoms it. in Zanzibar is very, very, very common spice. And we like it's it because sweet. of the flavor. The far mm -hmm. things is a sweet, mm -hmm. also that smell is very very nice. That's why we like cardamom. Mm, Especially we use the cardamoms when putting in the milk, mm -hmm. but also the normal tea, 
just mm -hmm. for the lime leaves tea we use for the cardamom also mm -hmm. but when i prepare pilau we call it spice rice mm -hmm. with the cardamom cinnamon also we put this kind of the spice mm. but also this kind of a spicy is very expensive why mm. it's the why? same with the vanilla this one is not one time to mm -hmm. harvest more than two times in a year the, yes in a year but the problem is mm -hmm. to ha to get one kg you have to have this a lot, mm. a lot, a large distance to get one kg. Because that's it's very why, small. Very, very small. That's why very, very expensive. Mm. Sometimes to get like a, uh, like a 10 kg, you have to, to harvest like a 10 hectares. 10 hectares? Yes. That's why it's expensive. Wow. Interesting. I'm learning a lot, guys. Okay, let's go. Okay, flowers. Yes, this is the name. This tree, we call it the carambola. Oh, we call it the star fruits. Oh, yeah, star fruit. Yeah, I see that. It, it turns yellow, right? Yes, it's yellow, but still, right now, it's not matured. Okay, I see. If it's matured like this, it will become yellow. Oh, yeah. Or like this one, very, very yellow, colorful. Mm. Let's see. Star fruit. We call it star fruits mm -hmm. because after cutting, the shape is like a star. Mm. Yellow star. Where this small one? Small here. Yes, we can get this. So star fruit comes from this tree. <laughs> 